Hey everybody, it's Boss Don295 here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to turn your rooted or hacked Nexus 7 back to its stock original settings. And just to show you guys, as you can see right there, I have Super User SU, and uh, make sure you back everything up. Make sure you back everything up using a titanium backup, or if you're going to put all your files in Dropbox or on your computer, make sure to back everything up because everything will get erased off your device. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing you want to do is download the files that you need to turn your Nexus 7 back to stock settings. So I have provided this link, and it's going to be in the comments description. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the link just to show you guys real quick how does it look. So as you can see, the name of the file is going to be Nexus 7 to stock. And to download it, you just go at the top right hand corner and you click download and it should start downloading. I already downloaded it so um, just to save ourselves a little bit of time so here it is. Next thing you want to do is first you want to find it um, wherever you put it in in my case since I have Windows 7 it would be in my download section and it would be in here but since I already put it on my desktop it's on my desktop so I would right click click extract all and if you have Windows 7, you would have to click extra Extract the Zip. I'm going to go ahead and extract. And wait till this finishes up. And you're going to have a folder within a folder. So this folder that's in here, you want to pull it out. And just hit Yes. It's just going to replace the folder that's in the outside. So now we have our unzipped folder right here. Uh, you could just set this on the side, delete it, or whatever you want. But we want the one that's open. So in here you're going to have the Nexus um, Restore folder, the Nexus 7 folder, um, the Universal Naked Drivers, and the cheat sheet that I provided. And this is what makes everything so easy. If you've never used Command Prompt, um, this cheat sheet will help you copy and paste everything. And it will just make it simply way more easier and less tedious. You don't have to sit there and type everything up. So the first thing we're going to want to do is check if you have the drivers. If you've already rooted your device on the same computer you're using, you should have the drivers. But just in case you don't have the drivers, I'm going to show you guys how to install the drivers. So we're going to go back to the Nexus. So now that we're back on our Nexus 7, what you want to do is shut it off. So it's on right now. And to shut it off, you just hit the top button on the right hand side of the tablet and you just hold it and you're gonna get this menu and it's gonna say power off airplane mode or silent mode just hit power off click OK wait till it shuts it down all right now that it's shut off, what you want to do is hold down the down volume key with the power button until you get this menu. This is called bootloader mode. I'm in bootloader mode now. And if you've unlocked or rooted your Nexus 7 device, at the bottom, wait till this camera focuses, it should say lock state unlocked. So we're going to return it all the way to lock state it's gonna be completely stock so now that we have our um, Nexus 7 on um, bootloader mode we're gonna go ahead and plug it in with the USB cable and this is the stock Asus USB cable and this one works per perfectly fine as long as it's not damaged and make sure you have a good USB port before you're uh, doing this and make sure your USB cable is good. This cable is very new. Alright, now that we connected our Nexus 7 to the computer in bootloader mode, what you want to do next is take your Nexus 7 to stock folder, open it up, and remove all the files and folders in here, and put them right on your desktop, and just drag and drop. Now you don't need your Nexus 7 to stock folder anymore. And what you want to do now is gain access to your C drive. So if you do not know how to gain access to your C drive, or I'm going to show you guys right now. Well, if you don't have the computer or my computer icon on your desktop, 
you can just hit start and over here on the start menu on the right side in the categories you should have my computer and Windows XP and computer on Windows 7 so you could just go ahead and left click on that and you should have something similar to this and right here it says local disk C that C means this is your C drive you may have more drives they might be D F G H E other names like that uh, the one that you want is the C drive so you could go ahead and take your Nexus 7 restore folder your Nexus 7 folder and your universal naked driver but leave your cheat sheet on the desktop take these and drag them into your C drive or copy and paste and I double clicked on it and now we could check so I have the Nexus 7 restore folder Nexus 7 folder and the universal naked driver right here so we could close this now what we're gonna do is just go to our checklist so we're gonna go to our cheat sheet and in here I put a checklist so you should make sure that your Nexus 7 has 50% or more battery life I recommend it 100% but it, it really depends on how fast your computer is the faster your computer is the faster the process is if you know your computer is slower then it's gonna take longer and you know you're gonna need that extra battery life so I recommend just charging it 100% make sure you have a good PC um, USB port uh, meaning it's not cracked or damaged or it, it just works and you know it works use a good USB cable I use the stock Asus cable that came with the Nexus 7 it works good as long as it's not torn or damaged um, back up all your important data such as pictures documents videos music anything that you think is important that's on your Nexus 7 and if you like to use titanium backup make sure to um, back up all your applications that's what I did so now that we already did our checklist now we want to check if we have the Nexus 7 drivers on our computer so if you already rooted on your device you should have the Nexus drivers but if you want to make sure then you could go ahead and follow these steps but if you never messed with your device then we're gonna go ahead and check if we have the drivers now again if you have my computer or computer on your desktop you can just right click and go to manage but since I'm gonna show people a lot of people might not have it on their desktop I'm gonna show them the way that it's supposed to be so you wanna um, click on your start button on the right hand side you wanna go again to my to computer or my computer right click on this go to manage now on the left hand side you should see all these tabs and different categories and you should see disk management you wanna hit disk management I mean device management sorry about that you want to hit device management and here you're gonna have a long list of all the stuff you have installed on your computer and as you can see right here on other devices I have Android but this means I don't since I have that yellow exclamation mark or caution sign this means that I do not have um, the drivers for the Nexus 7 and bootloader mode installed so now what we're gonna do is install the drivers since we already put the folders in the C drive so you wanna go ahead and um, right click on Android go to update driver software and now you wanna go ahead and browse computer for drivers so we're gonna manually install the drivers so go ahead and click on that and now we get to search for the driver software in this and the location we have to give the location for the drivers so we're gonna hit browse and we're gonna go ahead and find computer which is right here and this little arrow or triangle you click on it and it'll open up more subcategories and as you can see we have our local disk disk C our C drive so you wanna go ahead and open that up and now you can see that we put the Nexus 7 restore the Nexus 7 in there and then you have the universal naked driver so you want to choose the new the universal naked driver I have selected it you, you want to select select the whole thing don't select just the ones inside of it so select the whole thing click OK and make sure you have include subfolders checked so make sure you have this checked now you want to hit next and when this message pops up you want to hit install this dr um, this driver software anyway 
So it's installing. Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Google Nexus 7 bootloader interface. So we could close this. And now, instead of having that um, other and Android with the exclamation or caution sign, now we have it's recognizing that we have our Nexus 7 in bootloader mode. So it says Android device, Google Nexus 7 bootloader interface. So we are in bootloader mode. It recognized it. And now we're good to continue on. So you just want to close this now. Now we could just go to command prompt. For those of you who've never used command prompt or don't know what command prompt is, it allows you to do commands or write code in your computer to be able to control things or um, access files and other programs that you cannot. So to get to it, you want to hit start button. Now, if you have Windows 7, you could just type CMD and you just click on CMD, and this is command prompt, it'll pop up. And for those of you who have Windows 7, I mean Windows XP, you just hit the start button, all programs, find your accessories folder, and then near the top, you should see command prompt, and you just click on it. And now we're in command prompt. Now you want to also open your cheat sheet and you can have them next to each other just like I have. And now we want to gain access to our um, N7 restore folder. So we're going to copy the first line of code here, which is going to be CD um, C semicolon of backslash N7. We're going to copy this, paste it, enter. So now we gain access to the um, N7 restore folder, as you can see right here. The next thing you want to do is copy the second line of code, which is, which is really the first line of code, right here. We're going to copy this, and you want to copy from the first letter all the way to the last letter. Do not copy the numbers. And I'm going to paste it. I'm going to hit enter and wait till it finishes. My computer is, is a little bit fast so it only took less than a second or a second. Now you want to copy the second line of code. Paste it onto your command prompt. Hit enter and, and just wait till your computer beeps or does that doom 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 twice. After that when it says finish total time is going to give you time then um, you can move to the next line of code. So you already know it finished. Copy this third line of code, paste, and hit enter. And this is the part where it's going to take the longest. Do not unplug your Nexus 7 from your computer. Just leave it connected. Let it do what it has to do. This is the the process takes the longest because you're actually um uploading the stock um firmware the stock image all right as you can see now it says finish total time uh, a little over a minute so about a minute and a half and it may take longer for you or it may not your computer may be faster than mine Mine's is pretty fast. So now my Nexus 7 is restarting. Do not unplug the device yet, even though it's restarting. Just wait until you get to the home menu on the actual Nexus 7 itself. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just waiting for my device to restart. All right, my device has uh, restarted and we could just hit next you can set up the Wi-Fi I'm gonna set up the Wi-Fi real quick all right now that we are on our home screen on our Nexus 7 you could just unplug your device if you wish but we're still not done what you want to do now is sh shut your um, Nexus 7 again off so hold the power button and go ahead and hit power off 
Okay. So now that our device is off, what you want to do is put it in bootloader mode again. So you want to hold down the down volume key and the power key. And now we're in bootloader mode again. And the reason why we have to do put it in bootloader mode again is because remember the lock state is still unlocked and to be completely stuck it has to say locked so now we're gonna plug it back to our computer again so take your USB cable and go ahead and plug it back in and now we're gonna go back to the computer alright now that we finished putting our device back in bootloader mode again what we want to do is close command prompt and now reopen it again so go to start all programs accessories hit command prompt and now we're gonna use the relock the bootloader codes so we're gonna gain access to the Nexus 7 folder by copying this first line of code we paste it onto the command prompt hit enter and now we're in the Nexus 7 folder we have access to it now you wanna copy on the first line of code which is the only line of code on this part and you wanna um, from copy from the first letter to the last letter do not copy the number so paste as you can see and now I'm gonna hit enter and this is gonna relock your bootloader or lock it and it says info bootloader is locked now okay so I'm gonna show you on my Nexus 7 that it's locked you can see right there on my device it says lock state locked so now your Nexus 7 is completely stock um, just the same way you bought it right out of the box it's completely stock but you're still in bootloader mode so to get out of bootloader mode what you want to do is hit down on the down volume key hit down again hit down again and you want it to say power off so once it gets to the power off setting you want to hit the power button and now your device is shut off you can unplug it from your device if you want And now I'm going to turn it back on and just wait until it boots alright my device is booted up so I'm just going to go real quick to the settings to show you guys that it's back to stock about tablet I had um, cl the clean ROM installed on here and it was 4.1.1 .1. and now I have Android version 4.1 which you could just update it by clicking system updates if you want to get back to 4.1.1 but I had a cost custom ROM on here so the build number it actually said clean ROM 1.0 and now it's back to stock GRN 84D so this is Bosdon 2095 and this is how to get your um, rooted or hacked Nexus 7 back to stock factory settings straight out of the box locking the bootloader and everything so be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, um, be on the lookout. I'm going to show how to root this device. Um, and I'm also going to do reviews on other uh, ROMs and applications and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that.